Hello, everybody. How y'all doing YouTube land today? Uh, today, today I'm going to discuss using an egg turner or rolling your eggs by hand. So if you know anything about incubating, you probably already know. If you looked into it, the eggs need to be turned. Uh, the chicken, she turns them. There's a lot of different reasons I've heard. Whatever reason, if you don't turn your eggs, you're going to have a really low hatch rate. And you can have all the fertilized eggs in the world, but if you don't turn them, they, they got to be turned. So, so do you want to turn them by hand? You can turn them by hand. That's fine. It works great. Lots of people have done it. Ducks do it. Chickens do it. Turkeys do it. Um, there's just a couple things. You've got to be able to do it three times a day. If you can't do it, and you don't have other people you can depend on, just get an egg turner. Because you're going to go to a lot of trouble, and it'll, you know, it's not going to work out. Your hatch rate will be down. It might not have any. Uh, there is one, one situation where I say, in my opinion, you have to have an egg turner. And that's if you order eggs and you have them shipped to you. When you, when you have them shipped to you, the air bubble almost always gets ruptured on the top. And so they need to be held upright not only for 24 hours before you put them in your incubator, but then after you, when you're incubating, you put them in an egg turner, it still holds them upright. That's a rock back and forth, but it keeps that toward the top. Um, if you're going to get them from a farm, or, you know, you, and there's not a lot of handling, and you're bringing them in your car, and you're rarely careful, don't throw them in your trunk, throw them in your front seat. You can't feel what's going on in your trunk if you can feel your front seat. Take it nice and easy, miss the bod holes. Don't take turns 90 mile an hour. That's what it takes to keep eggs nice and the way you want them. Keep them upright in your carton until you get home. When you get home, stand them, uh, let them stand up for 24 hours. And then if you're not going to put them in the incubator right away, start rocking them back and forth, rolling them back and forth. But then you can lay those eggs down in the incubator, roll them each day three times. You'll be fine. Um, but if you get them shipped to you, I don't care if they ship them from 45 miles away. You can have them the next day. They need to be on a turner. You're not going to have a good hatch rate. Sometimes you do all right, but I'm telling you, if you get them shipped, get a turner. Or if they're 45 miles away and they're shipping them to you, you need to be driving to get them. Uh, I saw some duck eggs on eBay. I messaged people because it was 85 miles. It took me an hour and a half to get there. I said, look, can I get local pickup instead of shipping? They said, that's fine. I drove an hour and a half and got them. And I got them straight from them instead of them packaging them, throwing them on a truck with some bubble wrap on them. And then they put them in these big trucks like you would haul heavy equipment on. That every little bump shakes, just shakes, shakes, shakes. Just, I mean, just imagine taking your incubator and just putting your eggs in and just shaking the heck out of them. I mean, expecting good results. So I, I have eggs shipped to me. They go in a turner, and it helps a little. It helps some. So if you're going to get them shipped, you got to use a turner. If you're going to go get them yourself, you can get a turner or not get a turner. It's up to you. Uh, 